welcome to the Pass It On program of the Topsfield Council on Aging. I'm John Nutter from Ipswich Road in Topsfield. Uh, Mrs. Nutter and I have only lived in Topsfield a short time compared to our guest today, who is June Tilton. We're going to interview June today about some interesting things. I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she uh, was born in Topsfield and lived for many years and still has her home up on the turnpike across from the golf course. Now you can meet June Tilton. And, uh, the, uh, I think the interesting thing, June, is if you could kind of reminisce with us a little bit about Topsfield and perhaps sure. things that you remember uh -huh. as a young lady uh, now uh, who might have been president at the time you were in grade school or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I never figured those. You don't remember those kind of things, probably pay any attention. Uh, but the the town of Topsfield must have been considerably different. Was the turnpike, yeah. you lived, of course, right on the turnpike. When I first remember it, it was just a narrow, well, they had put some surface on it. Yes. It didn't mount too much. Yes. And all the crooks and everything came down the road. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, they uh, spread the news everywhere, you know. Well, and if anybody had it, and they were always have an accident. Yeah. And there were no garages or anything, and my folks had to go out and help them. Yeah. And I'll never forget one. He, uh, they had this awful crack. And my Uncle George went out to see what was going on. And across on the other side of the road, there were both of them. And one of them says, yeah. Hey, Bill, I ain't dead of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have just been bumping each other across on the other side of the road. Yeah. As I remember it, your Uncle George told me that Mr. Stanley, who built the steam cars, was killed right there. Yes. Th there was a, a yeah. kind of a little hump in the road there, yeah. and he was going altogether too fast yes. with that Stanley steamer, yeah. and it went right into the air and tipped over into yeah. the ditch. And, and your Uncle George was in the barn door that was up above the turnpike there, and he saw the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. One of those interesting facts about the local <laughs> And we situation. had those people come and to see where it was, you know, and yes. what happened and yeah. so on. How was downtown like in those days? Did you go to the school, the academy, they oh, called yes. it? Oh, yes. Up, up on the hill there. Yeah. Uh, Although the, my first and second year, yeah. I went to school in the town hall. Oh, I see. There wasn't room in the school, yeah. main school. And so I went to but, school in that. Uh, but all of the classes were right, right there in the middle of town. Yes. So you probably remember when the Proctor School was built. The, the, yes. Yeah, yeah. That was, I guess, Mr. Proctor helped pay for that. And, yes. Yeah. He owned a lot of land, I guess. He sure did. Everything except your place <laughs> on the east side of the turnpike, almost. Yeah. Because I know our house was all part of that big estate. Sure. Yeah. Now, was your home built for you or already there? It was already there and had been for a good many years. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing for us. If they happened to be yeah. something we liked, why we could use them. But, yeah. but I mean, your own home, did... Uh, that had been there since... The 50s before. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and both of those houses were both there together? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the one where my uncle yeah. was. Yes. That was uh, a newer. I see. Than the, yeah. And it was only a piece of it, yeah. actually. It was just about a half, and yeah. that was pretty small. Yes. But over the years, finally, they added to it. Yes. So they've got a little more reasonable amount now. Yeah. And. Uh, as I did, uh, what kind of farming did uh, the two Tilton brothers do? I know your uncle always told me about his girlfriends. Those were the hundreds <laughs> of chickens he had in the barn. Yes. Did they also have uh, animals or hay or what kind of? Yes, they always had a lot of hay. Yes. And they used to have the uh, animals too. Yes. And. Uh, Oh, I can't think. There's a lot of other things <laughs> that were around there, the place. And hens. We had a lot oh, of hens. Oh, sure. Pigs. Yep. 
And uh, that little of everything eventually that weeded them out yeah. so that we didn't have them. Then uh, the, after you uh, completed school there, you perhaps went to a normal school or something to learn to well, be a we teacher? Well, we went to high school first. Yes. In town. Yes. And then to Salem. Salem, Salem Normal School, That's right. they called it in those days. That was a real fine place in those days. A yes. lot of wonderful teachers like June Tilton graduated <laughs> from there. <laughs> I don't know how wonderful they were, but I got along well with my kids anyway. Hey, I, we just used to hear about that. You and Ruth Rand. And there was another wonderful lady, wasn't she? Uh, yes, she was sick though a lot of the time. Yes. And she died when she was, I think, around 32. Is that right? Yeah, because I remember when she, didn't she live with you there? Yes. For quite a while. After the others retired. Yes. And she was alone, and I said, well, you know, might as well stay with yeah. me. I was alone too. Yeah. So uh, we uh, lived together there until, well, she, she died. Yes, but I remember uh, I used to go up and frequently visit with your uncle and uh, go up and get loads of chicken manure to make my farm grow oh, a little yes, better uh -huh. and had visits with him. And uh, here was June Tilton. Uh, I think you were retired by then and only retired from teaching because I went up one day and you were about 20 feet off the ground on the top of a ladder <laughs> painting the edge of your house. I painted the whole house twice. Sure you did. This, this I lady couldn't stand in a mess, a so I ability. painted it twice, <laughs> and partly a third time. Yep. And, uh, Looked pretty good when I got through. I wish I could do it now. Well, we need a little painting down our place. I, if we can get you out of here, we'll take you down. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, just it's it's so wonderful to think about this, and I think the people that will watch this program would be interested in things you might have to comment on about. Well, just the remind town. me if I forget, because okay. there might be a lot of things yeah. that I wouldn't remember. Yeah. Now, how about the uh, 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 going to school? Uh, you lived up there where you were on the turnpike. Now, how did you get to school in those days? Well, in the beginning, because it was almost impossible to get anywhere, yeah. uh, the folks, well, they had milk that they had to take to the train. There was a train that yes, ran through the town. Yes, Central Topsfield, yes. And uh, my grandmother, Tilton, she was still alive. She lived to be, I don't know, in the 90s, I yeah. guess, or yeah. something anyway. And she... Uh, had them there, yep. and uh, we used to go there to wait until it was time for school. Oh, I see, when they so, took the milk yeah. down. Now, yeah. where she lived now, <laughs> it's hard to say what, what it is, but it was right where, um, hmm. Down in the middle of town, was it? Yes, right in the middle of town oh, there. Oh, sure. Where the, um, Oh dear, what is her name? She's an awfully nice girl. But anyway, it was yeah. right along there. Oh, down downtown, from sure. Yeah. Central Street, yeah. Yeah. right up mm -hmm. to the town hall. Oh yes. Almost. Yeah. And well, that's that's changed a lot now. A lot oh, of it sure has. And, things, yeah. and then when those miserable things b burned those buildings down. Yeah. Yeah, there was quite a fire there many years ago. That was on purpose. Oh, is that mean. right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but it was, uh, it was quite, a, quite a distance to have to get to school. And your uncle, as I understand it, had one of the first school buses in Topsfield. Yes. You remember where Rod's junkyard used to be? It's, it's where the Ipswich Bay glass and those yeah. things are now. I remember seeing the bus that I think was your Uncle George's. It was a long black Ford Model A to such as you would carry vegetables and corn and stuff in to deliver it and it had rolled down curtains in the back and as I understand it they put bales of hay in there and he could seat in perhaps six to ten kids and that was the original school bus in Topsfield. As I understand your uncle drove, a, I remember him driving a school bus when we first uh -huh. came there, he drove school bus yeah. for years Kept it and over. If he was sick or something and couldn't, my mother <laughs> drove it. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How about that? Everybody pitched in, didn't yeah. they? And, well, I think this is uh, interesting. Uh, do you think of any people 
particularly that you remember in Topsfield that, that it would be so far back that us, uh, those of us, us newcomers, <laughs> don't yeah. don't know them or know of them. Uh, oh dear, that would be hard because yeah. it's hard to remember them so long ago. But I think of Mr. Balch was the moderator yes. for years. Yes, oh boy, he was quite a character. Yes. But he got what he wanted. Absolutely, yeah, this, that was what I understood, that he lived right at, uh, right where Salem Road comes down onto yeah. Hill Street in that big house yes, there, uh -huh. didn't he? Yeah. And he'd go right out there and he'd tell them in no uncertain terms yeah. well, how they were supposed to vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mr. Wellman was a yes. moderator after that. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, how about Selectman? I know one Selectman that was exceptionally fine. That was your uncle. Yes, he was there for years. Yes. But uh, about in the in the in the 50s, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. I, other than that, I can't seem to think who was there. Yeah. You know, I don't remember. I was a kid at that time, and it didn't bother me <laughs> who was there. You didn't have to be bothered. Everything was going fine. Well, you know, the town is still a wonderful place. It's, yes. it's grown very gracefully, I think, and it's, uh, it's a fun town in that those people that pitch in, in so doing, they meet so many nice people, and, and they work together just the way your uncle did. Uh, uh, They'd, they'd be glad to have your help, and, and that yeah. way you met people. Well, I want to get my help back. I yeah. Weak in the knees. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about some of your thoughts on teaching? Uh, do you have some thoughts on that? Uh, interesting things with all the wonderful children that you had an opportunity to They were help? wonderful kids. Yeah. The ones that I had, the last bit in particular, the... Uh, Sixth grade. Sixth grade. And it was in the sixth six year. Yes. And uh, the kids were very thoughtful. They were nice. And I had them that last year in particular. And I had a whole room full of kids that stayed after school to tell me that they didn't want to go. Oh. And some of them cried. Because they, they'd have to go to junior yeah. high school. Yeah, huh? when they were going to leave. Yeah. And they were such nice kids. Yeah. This was in Beverly? That's yes. right. Yeah. I had one or two that I'd like to wrung their necks sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but on the whole, they were all right, too. Yes. Well, it's, uh, everybody was fortunate. You had good students, and they had an excellent teacher. And what a team that makes. <laughs> and uh, children that have that same opportunity today are very fortunate. Yes. And they, they will remember the June Tiltons of yes. their time. Here within a week or yeah. so, uh, a, a young girl and a boy came in and told me that they had been my pupils there. Mm -hmm. And they were real enthusiastic. They talked and we had quite a good time. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like turning back the clock almost, yeah, isn't it? That's and right. You can relive those wonderful experiences. How about the Topsfield Fair? Do you remember anything special oh, about that? Oh, I went from the time I can remember. I wasn't very old yeah. up until <laughs> I was too old to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I said? Well, oh, we thoroughly enjoyed it yeah. as kids. Well, it's been a good fair. I remember when I was a boy, probably uh, oh, about the sixth grade and so forth, my father's business uh, brought him to Topsfield because a gentleman in town there used to buy materials from him and we used to park at this fellow's place down near John Gould's on Pemberton Road and we'd walk through to the fair and and I remember that and then of course when we came to Topsfield we've we've seen it and our children have had the fun of having their horses in 4-H and that sort sure. of thing and it's it's a very Nice thing, this Al Craig, the present manager, does a wonderful job making the facilities available to the community. Sure. The young people now play soccer in the winter in the big new building, and sure. so it, uh, it's a pretty noisy, busy thing for, for a while, but it's carried on that tradition for, for sure. many, many years. And uh, no, I haven't been for a while. Yeah. You know, I used to go every single year and spend just as long as I could. <laughs> I think what we should do, when you get back home, we'll make arrangements with Al Craig and you can go down as a special guest down there. How about that? Oh. Wouldn't you like to do that and see it's it? an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
and uh, he just loves to have that sort of thing. And uh, they, they won't make you get up on the stage and put on a demonstration. They just <laughs> just so you can see how it's changed. Sure. And it's 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 grown old I gracefully. I wouldn't get up on the stage, but I've been a good many times. I bet. <laughs> Did uh, now, thinking back of that line, it must have been fun. Uh, with your students, you must have put on plays yeah. and concerts and things, and yeah. and uh, uh, that was always sort of a special part of teaching, uh -huh. wasn't it? Because in those days, there weren't as many, what do we want to call them, extra support teachers, special music teachers and special mm -hmm. art teachers. You you did it all, probably. Well, quite a lot. Yeah, it's the last of it we had, had different ones yeah. in, in the schools. Mm. But... but uh, See, I'm not a whale of a lot younger than you, and I remember <laughs> my school and, and my teachers pretty much did the whole thing. Yes. And uh, so they, uh, they, and they were extremely good guides, as you were. They could already sense which direction you probably would go and uh -huh. would encourage you to be helpful, that sort of thing. And, and uh, no, I, I see that you've really had a great time doing these things. Uh, do you uh, do you remember the Capon House before it was fixed up? Was it just lived in by people uh, as an? Uh, I think so. I don't know too much about. It. I was I wasn't old enough then to, yeah. to remember too much. Yeah. But I know there were people who lived there. Yes. And uh, it was kind of a ramshackle mess. Yes. At one time, but they straightened it out. And yeah and fixed it. Well, this Mr. Dow, I guess, was quite responsible for he recognizing... Was quite a guy. Yes, and recognizing the value of that. And he fixed his reputation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so now, of course, it's a real wonderful place, draws people yes. from all over the place, and, and this barn that's being put up uh, is... I uh, was down there today, and it's nearly all closed in, and when it's done, it will be an interesting thing because it'll be a meeting place where yes. groups can go. And the interesting thing was, and uh, do you remember the old barn that was there? No. Uh, uh, it wasn't there. I never knew about it, but we often were wondering. And another person that's pitched in and done so much in town is Larry Bond. He's n no longer with uh -huh. us, but he wrote this book on houses and people oh. of Topsfield, and uh -huh. it must tell all about your two houses up there. And there's Could a be. picture in there that shows the Capon House sitting up on the hill here, and the barn came out mm -hmm. uh, down below, just 90 degrees to where the new one is going to be. I've heard about that, but I never saw her. Yeah, well, we, we, they saw the foundation rocks when they were sure. working on, on the getting rid of the new one. So these, these are all kind of interesting things. Now, the other old house in Topsfield is the so-called French Andrews house. That's, yes. That's, uh, do you remember anything particularly about that? That's That the, kept me fascinated. We went in to see it. Yes. And the way they, <laughs> I know one of the rooms, they took us in, and it was a bedroom. Yes. And here was the bed here, but one of the feet on it. Yeah. What? Oh, that much, at least, lower than the other. The floor was tipped, uh, was yeah. it? Oh. It was scant there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need a bed with adjustable legs to sleep, right. sleep on the well, level. Well, they had planks and so on underneath yeah. to hold it up. Yeah. Of course, it's been all fixed up uh, in the last several years. been yes. several different well, families. Well, at that time, it looked much better, but still... There were a lot of things they showed us, you know, where they'd fix them to yes. make them different. That was all part of the Proctor estate, wasn't it, I think? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, most the guy that, that lived there, I don't know, I think it was his own idea. Was it? Yeah. But I don't know too much about it. I wasn't very old. Yeah. Do you remember uh, much about uh, Mr. Palmer or Mr. Proctor that owned so much property over well, there? Well, Mr. Proctor, of course, we heard more because he was right in the dooryard, you might say. Yeah. He was right next door there. Yes. So we heard quite a bit, you know, off yeah. and on about yeah. him. Yeah. And because he owned so much uh, property in the yes. whole. And then Mr. Palmer had the big place that now is the state park. And, yeah. And uh, that goes back... Uh, I guess into the, oh, perhaps 1910, somewhere along Maybe. in there, yeah. Well, June, why don't we continue this along? We'll, we're, 
we uh, might have a few more thoughts to discuss here before we have filled up the tape for yeah. the Council on Aging program. A couple of stories about the yeah. minister and how we got along. Sure. It was before my time, but I can re remember the stories. Yeah. What, what do you remember in particular? Uh, the Capon House, when he went there and there was this, well, I don't know what they called him, it was some kind of a crazy animal oh. or person. Oh. And uh, they, he was at the, I don't know what they called it then, but anyway, it was at what is now the cemetery. Yeah. And that lower part of the cemetery. Mm -hmm. And uh, they told him that there was some kind of a troublemaker in the, uh, where he was, it was not the same Cape and I was just today, but yeah. anyway. So he dropped everything, grabbed the things in the in the in the uh, church, yeah. <clears throat> and hiked it for the Cape and House as fast as he could yeah. go, which <clears throat> is quite a little way there. Yeah, because he was coming from that little building that used to be up in the in the cemetery there. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> That cemetery, he was going to fix it. He was wasn't going to have it there. Yeah. So he had a, I don't know what you call it, but it was like a poem that uh, he recited. And it gave that, well, it was supposed to be some kind of a, I don't know what, but he was some kind of a strange animal or yeah. person. Yeah. Sounds and, like a ghost story to me. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he, Laid him out in lavender and told him to, uh, that he would do the, what he said, you know. And he got so the guy went out through the hole in the uh, side of the kitchen, it was, Whoa. over the door in the kitchen. Yeah. How about Chased that? him out. How about, <laughs> how, uh, how about... That's one story. Yeah. June, how about things that you enjoyed over the years, like your students in school? Any things like that you'd like to mention? Uh, oh, I enjoyed the kids. Uh, real, real <clears> fun. <throat> of course, the last of them, I think, were, were easier to work with than the original ones. Yes, but uh, uh, did, was it sad to see them leaving your class and going on? Did, uh, yes, I kind of was <laughs> sad, as you say, see them going, and they were all so upset. Half of them were crying because yes. they didn't want to go. Yeah. and. Um, but they, some of them came back within a day or two and, and talked to me about various things that they'd had trouble with. And uh, they really... I'd seen, well, within a week, I saw, uh, well, the fellow was the, was the one, yeah. and his, uh, I know it was his niece or what, or his daughter. Yeah. And they, I'd had him in school. Mm -hmm. So they came in and talked for quite a while. Yeah, and they really appreciated their teacher, yes. I believe. I'll bet they did. Well, they were good anyway. They were good, good kids to work with then. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Well, it must be a very rewarding thing to think back over that and, and that nice group that you had there all these years. And uh, now, uh, in your family, there was your mother and father, and you and your sister. Was your sister older than you or younger? She was older. She was two years and a half two, older. Two years older. And uh, I don't think I ever knew her, then she didn't live as long as you. No. Yeah. And, uh, and your father, as I think we covered earlier, your father, I don't remember either your father or your mother. Were you, were you and Miss Rand, just the two of you living in the house there? In, uh, yeah, after one. Yes. 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 Be uh, and uh, then, as uh, we covered earlier, perhaps your uh, your mother and your uncle's wife were sisters, mm -hmm. and uh, and as I remember, Uncle George's wife passed away quite a bit before he did, didn't yes. she? Yeah, because uh, he he lived there alone, and you kind of kept an eye on him, didn't you? Well, I, I got his meals for him and yes. everything. Yeah, took care of the house. Yes, and. Uh, because when, when I used to visit him, uh, it, was, it was just so much fun to go in and see him now and then and sit by that great big oak table, the yeah. dining room table. And, and he, he, he 
was so much like you, had that same philosophy uh -huh. of life, look at the good side of things, it, it's going to work out all right. Uh, the hay gets wet, we'll have another crop <laughs> yeah. later on. These kind of things. He always saw the funny side of things. Yes, and the happy side, the same as you do, which I think means that that's why you're still here and going strong. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. I don't know. Doesn't it help, June? <laughs> well, I hope so. Yeah. If I get these legs under me so I can yeah. walk around easily. Yeah. Did, now, you used to drive to work all the time. Oh, yes. Yes, and, but uh, I presume you don't drive now? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because it, uh, it was a nice little trip to Beverly on a stormy day, but yes. I bet you always made it. Oh, yes. Yes. Get quite used to it. Yes. And it's probably... Uh, it must be fun to be a teacher where you look forward to going to school every day. To if see. you get a group of children that are interesting. Yes. And the last of my teaching, when I first started, they were kind of pains in the neck. Yeah. But uh, the last of my teaching, they were dears. They were the nicest kids. Might I suggest they were probably a reflection of June Tilton? I don't know about that. <laughs> I think so. And we, should we close this on a nice positive message like that? And uh, we hope that you're giving us this opportunity to talk with you today. We'll show people the wonderful town that they have and the kind of people that have lived there over these many years and have helped to keep it the way it is. And we hope when you are able to get back home for too long, then you'll come and join so many of your yes. friends at these Wednesday meetings and other things that the Council on Aging mm -hmm. makes available for you. And as uh, you were saying, you don't have a car. Well, they have a very nice van. With That's what aggravates me. Yeah. I yeah. could drive that car if I had it. Well, maybe they'll let you drive the van. And yeah, when I could do that, up. too. <laughs> they have two nice gentlemen. I and drove cars yeah. for so many years. Yeah. That yeah. And they'll, they'll come and pick you up and take you down to a meeting and and we'll look forward to seeing you there. Well, I hope I can get out of the house and yeah. not have them tell me I got to sit back. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much, June Tilton, for visiting with us and reminiscing about your town. We really appreciate it. You're somebody kind of special to all of us. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you, folks, for tuning in on this Council on Aging program, and we don't know what the next one will be, but I'm sure it will be another good one, yeah. and it was certainly fun to pitch in and visit with June again at this time. <laughs>